Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about Google Flock today and try to clear some of the confusion from all these different articles and all the technical terms and RD projects. So this is a Google Chrome project. It's called Federated Learning of Cohorts, Flock, and it's a Chrome API that allows publishers and advertisers to target users anonymously by interest group based on their past browsing behavior. The thing is, it's only GDPR compliant when the user gives consent to their data processing and collection. For your EO users out there, you know, that happened with a consent management platform, otherwise known as a CMP. So that's that pop-up that you see on the website asking for consent for data tracking. And these are really important because for those EU users that are protected by GDPR, they see these in all these different websites. But there's an initiative called the Privacy Sandbox, which is to push the CMP to the browser level rather than the individual website level. So that users only have to give consent or not give consent one time versus an indefinite amount of times via all the websites that they look at. So it would be a lot more convenient for the user, a lot more easy. However, it gives them less of an incentive to actually consent. So this is problematic for ad monetized publishers because these consented users are worth more than the non-consented users. If a user does not consent, they will only be shown non-personalized ads. And these ads can only target via contextual advertising, whatever is on the page. But interest-based advertising via options like Google Flock monetize much higher than non-personalized ad. We're talking about 5x, 10x difference. So this is a big difference to publishers and advertisers. For advertisers, it's a more effective way to target via interest. So the way we see this playing out is if the CMP goes browser level and consent rates drop, we see publishers, at least the savvy ones, to respond by having paywalls for all the users that do not consent. So users, these EU users, are going to have to decide, are they going to pay a subscription for the websites that they like to browse? Or are they going to whitelist this website to consent on tracking just for the, the websites that they like the most? So this is how we see it playing out. Google has is still working on a better solution for Flock that's more GDPR compliant for non-consented users. So there's a lot to come, but this is how we see things playing out based on the information we have here. And hopefully that clears things out. Uh, if you have any questions, please put it in the comment box. We'll get back to you and don't forget to subscribe.